Hi, my name is Donna Krieger and I'm the principal at MCS. I did notice that we, we definitely had some issues with our students. Their attendance, in my opinion, was out of control. They, they would miss at will and, and at a whim. Probably 90% of my days was focused on middle years discipline issues. Well, some of the issues that we're faced with every day within our school division are things such as nutrition issues with students who for various reasons may come to school hungry. We have situations whereby there's student bullying that we try to address on, an, on a daily basis. We have issues of students who aren't engaged and in order to learn the students need to be engaged in their learning. We have attendance issues that we're faced with on a daily basis that we try to address. But the way we were doing school wasn't working for our kids and so we couldn't ask our kids to change to conform to what we were doing. We need to change how we do school in many cases. So last year was the first year that we would have done the Tell Them From Me survey within our school. And, and so that survey allowed us to say, you know what, we need to even reinforce the support that much more. We kind of took a survey at the end of the year with like our homeroom teacher and she said, who eats breakfast and maybe about nine or ten of peop the people in the classroom put up their hand for saying I eat breakfast. This year when we started to put in the fitness piece and the nutritional piece our kids were all over it. So the morning program for us looks like in the first hour of the day we have all the grade sevens and all the grade eights come to us uh, in my department which is phys ed and they're going to get half an hour of physical education and then from there they transition into uh, small group work. And we started to begin to support those kids as well with small group instruction. We brought in some instructional coaches from Good Spirit and the beauty of that was we started to see our middle years kids really thrive in that environment. Our academic success went up. The students love it. They absolutely love it. They get a big transition, um, change of atmosphere in a sense. The program's great. It, wakes you, it gets you moving in the morning and helps you in class. I'd say that it's a better way to focus for the rest of the day and wakes you up. Research would also show you that if kids are active and, and if we keep them busy and we engage them right at the beginning of a day, that it does, it has a positive impact on not only their academic success, but also in terms of behavioral distractions get reduced and discipline, discipline pieces are almost non-existent. From what I've gathered from years gone by, the junior grades have always had issues with bullying. I would probably go a month or two without having an issue with bullying now. Well, they make it so there's no bullying or anything like that here makes a safe environment for you. The benefits of this program have been absolutely phenomenal in the student's behavior and the student's focus in class. So the culture has changed, right? Um, there's something for them to do at the noon hours. There's something to do, and, and we're talking about respect. They get to work with each other in these small groups as well. So there might be a respect factor that's happening in there. That's something that, you know, they might not even have thought of. Um, maybe they see that if I'm having problems with math, this person's also having problems with math, so maybe I'm not so much different than the rest of the people around me. It's not the success of one person. It's not the success of a handful of people. This is something that every single teacher and every single student in this building needs to be proud of. It's, it's who we are. Well, the School of Vision itself has been um, tremendous. They've, they've helped us out with uh, just some different things, with just contacting people, but um, a lot of it had to come with, with the funding that we needed. So we believe that if we could promote the message of student success and we could show our kids that what we were doing in this building was for their success only, we, we believe that they would start to buy in and they would start to change that culture for us and with us. I would say that uh, there's a culture change, um, starting with our younger kids, so our grade sevens and eights. Um, there's more of a buy-in. I think they, they feel that they're part of the school. They feel that um, what they have to tell us as staff, that it's actually being heard and uh, that this is their place. And our whole goal behind this was to make kids want to come to school and not that they have to come to school. We want them to be here. We want them to come every day and be successful in our building. So if we put that all together in one, roll it into one, if you will, and we can get them to school, and we can ensure that they're fed, and we can engage them in their learning, 
and we can look after their physical and mental needs as well. Ultimately, we will have everything a student needs to be successful in this day and age.